Welcome to Shortview Trends, your morning market here for Monday, January the 17th. What matters today and this week for trends? Well, it's been a fascinating start to the year, only two weeks in. Rotation globally has been dramatic and marked. And indeed, the winners of recent years, the mega cap tech stocks, have been the laggards. Look at some of these charts we're putting up in front of you now. Amazon and Netflix both breaking down below the 200 day moving average. Microsoft, dramatic price action to the downside. And could you convince anyone to sell that stock at the back end of last year? Not at all. It was everyone's darling favorite stock performing very poorly at the start of this year. And all the while, in complete contrast to that, the laggards of recent years are becoming this year's winners. Take, for example, the chart we're putting up in front of you now, the UK FTSE 100, one of the great underperformers of recent years, the, the clear outperformer in the start of 2022, followed by some of the other European indices. And right at the back of the pack, the mega cap techs, the NASDAQ 100, with the S&P 500 also not doing terribly well and down on the year to date. Naturally, of course, 50% of the market cap, the S&P 500, is growth stocks, including those mega cap tech stocks. And as we've been talking about in recent videos and in recent daily rags, the heart of that move has been the shift higher in nominal bond yields, and actually, more specifically, the shift higher in real bond yields, the tips yields over in the States. They picked up dramatically this year, this year, something we thought would be a theme in 2022, but it's happening quicker than one might have imagined. And as you can see on the chart in front of you now, they're already trading at a minus 0.66% yield up from under minus 1% and moving pretty sharply now they're higher since April 2021. Naturally, that feeds into sector rotation. Long duration assets, which are a play on real bond yields and nominal bond yields, are underperforming as we've just discussed. The Nasdaq doing poorly, the mega cap techs struggling. Whilst the cyclically sensitive growth areas of the market, old school economy, financials, some of the energy, materials, industrials have all been doing rather well this year. That, of course, feeds into the global puzzle, the global country rotation that we're seeing, where you've got the heavy tech, mega tech weighted US markets underperforming. And of course, the, the economic, cyclically economic, old economy growth country markets like the UK and parts of Europe outperforming. It's one big puzzle. And in order to get to the bottom of it, you need to look at all aspects of that puzzle to understand what's going on. And also you need to look at our models, our one to two week market timing models, which pick up a lot of this information. Our risk appetite models draw upon prices from across the globe, across all geographies, across all asset classes to derive how greedy or fearful the market is and to understand and discern and disseminate some of this information that we're talking to you about. Those and other market timing models on a one to two week basis are very helpful in timing the big swings in markets and picking up those one to two week moves and trading them. And that's it, what we look at each and every day in our daily rag. For example, the, the model I'm putting up in front of you now is the put to call ratio on the broader S&P, uh, broader uh, US equity market. That gives you good steers on those one to two week swings as does an equivalent on the NASDAQ. Or indeed, if you look at technical market timing, technical scoring systems. So with all that rotation over the course of the past two weeks, the key question is what's next? What's the next leadership in this market over the next two weeks? Is it a relief rally for tech? Or is it, should we be looking to the S&P 500 to drive this market higher? Or indeed overseas to the FTSE, the DAX, or other parts of the world? And to see all our models and our assessment of this market, and our one to two week recommendation on an equity index, Please see today's daily rag available to subscribers via the website. Or if you're interested in a free trial, please click on the link below, put in your name and email address, and we'll send you the daily rag for free for seven trading sessions. No credit card details required. So what are we watching today and this week? Well, it's a holiday over in the States today, Martin Luther King Day. So cash markets are closed, as are some of the futures markets over the course of Monday's session, reopening on Tuesday. Uh, elsewhere, though, in terms of the markets this week, there's three key themes. That we're watching one is plenty of macro data on the housing side over in the states something out tuesday wednesday thursday nahb home builders index starts permits and some other housing data later in the week secondly there's a big theme in terms of inflation continuing to play out that's an, a, a real obsession a real focus of markets we had some inflation data out of the states and elsewhere last week this week it's the turn of europe with the uk and some more eurozone inflation data and then thirdly we'll also continuation of us quarterly earnings that'll be a major focus it kicked off in earnest on friday with the banks 
continues throughout this week with all sorts of companies as we're flashing up on the screen in front of you now. So that's it from us. That's your morning market hit for Monday, January the 17th. Please do subscribe to these morning market videos. Simply search under Short View Trading on YouTube and click on the subscribe button or follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter and or Facebook. Thank you for listening. Stay safe. Trade well.